my lovelies welcome back all right so today we're going to be doing um an easy stamp design but before we get started i wanted to show you these two new colors that just came out from miss florida nails they are part of a, like a four set like if you get the entire one so i'm going to go ahead and pop up a picture of all four of them right here now of course you can get them individually but these are her new jelly glitter dips now on my swatches they look uh, more opaque because i'm using natural swatches but they are jelly all right, so we're gonna go ahead and jump right into the mani. So the first color that we're using is lemon cello, and it's like this lemon lime color. And again, it has glitters in it. The glitters that I believe she used are like the hollow, or is it hollow? Like H O L O, hello? Yeah, hollow glitters. Um, you know the ones that are like rainbowy and kind of like shimmer different colors. So that's the ones that she used in these dips, and it looks so good in the sun, you guys. It looks so amazing. I love when it like shines different colors. Now, if you guys are curious about the dip liquids that I'm using today, I'm actually using Vivid Dip or Vivid Glam Co. Um, those are the ones that I'm using. I'm just using her base and her um, activator because I'm going to be using the Nail Addict, oh, I'm sorry, Nail Reserve um, No Wipe Gel Top Coat at the end. Now, even with the first dip, you guys can already see like the shimmeries in the glitters, but um, I'm going to go ahead and just do two dips of all of the colors. Um, and that's just for me, in my opinion, just to keep it that jelly kind of look. Now, of course, the more dips you do, the more opaque the color is going to get. But these are supposed to be jelly, so I'm going to go ahead and just do the two. All right, you guys, you know I'm a big fan of slow drying dip liquids. Now, if you notice that I'm actually, for this Manny, I'm actually going to go ahead and um, clean up my cuticle area before I dust off. And that just gives the time for the dip liquid, like the base gel and the actual powder to kind of merge together. Since it's a slow drying and if you go in with your dusting brush too early, you can actually mess up and like kind of like streak it and mess up your dusting brush it's like a whole mess so i like to just keep it on there for a second or two almost actually honestly until i'm done cleaning up my cuticle area and it should be ready to just dust off so with any slow drying liquid i do recommend that you guys wait a second or two just like an extra couple of seconds and then go ahead and dust off your um excess powder Okay, so I decided that I was gonna do an ombre in the middle nail. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually set that aside. And then we're gonna go ahead and get the next color ready. The next color is called Purple Rain. And of course it's a purple because you guys know I love purple. But honestly, you guys, I think purple and green always look really good together. It's kind of like for me, mint and pink, um, obviously like black and white, rose gold and navy, things like that, that those colors always look good together. I think for me personally, um, it's purple and like that lime green color. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same steps like I did on my thumb and my pointer. I'm gonna go ahead and put the dip base kind of almost like a full nail, not too close, but it's because I don't want it to be too fady towards the cuticle area, so that's why I did it closer than usual. I'm gonna go ahead and lay it down, clean up my cuticle area, and dust off. So I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys watch while I do my ring finger and my pinky, and then we'll be back when I do my middle finger. Thank you. 
All right, you guys, so now we're ready for our ombre. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up the colors side by side like this. I am gonna go ahead, again, grab two separate ombre brushes. These are honestly just like eyeshadow wet and wild brushes that you can get for like 90 cents on Amazon or even at the dollar store. But on, you guys, these are like the best ones to use. And these are the crease brushes, by the way. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put a full layer of dip base on the entire nail. I'm making sure that there's like no gaps or anything like that. And it's like a nice even coat. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my finger all the way sideways and then grab my fuzz curler. To like do an ombre for me, I like to like scoop the color and kind of like tap it off the brush. I always done it this way, I don't know. This just works for me. And then I just go ahead and lay it down into the, the other color. Now, you don't have to do it this way. You can Oh, like dust it on like I did the like the first nail on um, the I mean sorry the first side you can go ahead and just do the tapping motion I always just lay it down because I feel like I get the same result so now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the second layer so the second layer I'm gonna do the same thing and put a full layer of dip base in the entire nail again nice even coat not too thick but not too thin but this time, I'm actually going to rotate my hand the opposite way. And then I am going to go ahead and grab my um, brush and do that scooping, tapping motion. So scoop and then like dust it on. You kind of want to work quick also because you don't want your dip base to dry up. So once you feel like you have enough of that second color, you're going to go ahead and turn it on and tap it off. And then you're going to go ahead and do that scooping, tapping motion this time. I don't lay it down the second time because it can contaminate the colors also you guys i do dust off camera because again i don't want to contaminate my two colors or get like the colors mixed up within each other so i'm gonna go ahead and clean up my cuticle area and then um like dust off to the side All right, and this is how we're looking like. So I'm gonna go ahead and get ready. At this point, this is where you're gonna go ahead and just like clean up your area a little bit. But you're also gonna go ahead and grab your favorite clear. Today I'm using um, Double Dips Clear. And I'm gonna go ahead and basically apply a full layer of dip base on all of my nails. And I'm gonna go ahead and dip it into the clear. Um, I usually dust it on, you guys. Like, you know how I do, like, you know, do like the pour over method but since it's clear i'm just going to go ahead and dip my fingers into the jar after that you guys i'm going to go ahead and activate it i will be filing off camera because i want to go ahead and just jump right into the stamping Okay, and thanks to the power of YouTube, and we're filed and buffed. So I did actually, you guys, I put my gel top coat on my other fingers just to like save a little bit of time. So we're gonna go ahead and just work on the middle finger right now. So this is actually the stamping plate that I got from Amazon. I got it in like one of those like packs of 10. Um, but I really like this one because it has like all those like abstract um, shapes and, and like, I don't know, I'm really into like leaves and stuff. So I'm gonna be using this one and this one. I don't know the placement yet, but we'll figure that out in a bit. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and use the Maniology Sticky Base. I'm going to use their black, which is straight up black. And then to top it off, again, I'm going to use the Gel Reserve No Wipe Gel Top Coat. All right, so I, I don't know why, you guys, but I decided to put the paint, or sorry, the nail polish on the stamping plate first and then Sticky Base, which... You guys are going to see in a little bit. It just didn't work out. You guys, put your sticky base on first and then apply your stamping polish to the plate. Um, yeah, I, like again, I don't know why I did it backwards. I never do it this way. So 
yeah i don't recommend you guys doing it this way and you'll see why in a minute So you guys, stamping polish actually dries fairly quickly. And since it was on there for a couple of seconds too much, look, it didn't pick up the design. So yeah, let's not do that again. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and just clean everything off. I'm going to get tape to clean off my stamper, but I do get um, a lint-free wipe with some acetone to clean up my stamping plate. And then we're going to go ahead and just try this again. <laughs> All right, nice and easy roll and the design comes up, thank goodness. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and grab an extra piece of tape and I'm gonna go ahead and just take off that extra piece of design that I don't want. So I'm thinking I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the top, was it top right? Yeah, top right of my nail and just kind of like press and roll kind of thing. Um, and I think it looks good right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and just move on to the next one and which is that other square leaf shape one. So we're going to go ahead and put a generous a generous amount of um, stamping polish all over the design. Sometimes you don't have to put it all over the design. I do it like this way just to make sure that everything's going to pick up. Grab the card, slide it at a 45 degree angle. And then the trick is to kind of roll your stamping. I mean, sorry, roll your stamper to pick up the design. Do not press down because it will not pick up the design. So again, roll your stamper onto the plate. All right, so I decided that we're gonna go to the lower left-hand corner, but I felt like the leaves would be too close together, so I actually just flipped it over upside down, and again, I think it looked good, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep it right there. And there you have it, nice and easy abstract with just two pieces of the stamping plate, and honestly, a little bit goes a long way, and it looked good. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this to the side, and now we're ready for our gel top coat. I do wait uh, like about 30 seconds or so to make sure that that stamping polish is completely dry because sometimes it can smudge now you can go ahead and use Manny Allergy's um, smudge free top coat and then do a gel top coat on top of that that also works I have done it that way but I just wait a little bit extra just to make sure it's dry and just use um, a regular gel top coat on top of it All right, so this is how we're looking like right out the lamp. We're looking a little crusty, so we're gonna go ahead and get some of our um, Scales of a Mermaid cuticle oil, and I'm gonna go ahead and put that all over my cuticle area and just rub it into my skin. We're gonna go ahead and hydrate all that. All right, you guys, and this is our final result. It's something simple, so easy with an ombre. I love the way it came out. I hope you guys loved it too. You guys, don't forget to comment and subscribe down below, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.